what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so yes the computer is almost done completed we are just waiting for the RGB piece to come in um, unfortunately uh, I believe that the graphics card um, LED strip that runs inside of it is blown out um, so we ordered us well we ordered us a new power hub which is the actual the actual thing this we ordered a new one of this a new wire that runs from that to it and then I ordered a whole new like another set of it uh, so that way if something later on down the line goes out or whatever we can figure it out uh, let's see here whoa take the glass piece off so I um, unfortunately I had to figure it out with so unfortunately I did have to uh, plumb this without the flow meter um, putting the flow meter there just raised the height too much and I wasn't able to uh, make the turns or the bend correctly so I settled for this of course you know um, after we basically plumb it our spare parts that we need it our spare fittings um, our spare male to male fittings have arrived uh, but yeah so anyway um, those parts will be here in a couple of days once that picks up we'll continue back where we are uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video this has to do with this awesome little water-cooled plastic RGB air conditioner thing um, which I'm going to talk to you guys now about but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little heads up on what was going on with the PC so yeah when that LED strip comes we will we will have to do some things because the LED strip is actually screwed in you can actually see it right there it's actually screwed in and it runs the length of the card um, so we are actually going to have to drain the system and it's f completely filled with water and pressurized because we did that on a live stream but yeah before then hope you guys enjoy it I'll see y'all out there thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and like and here we go So I believe I have talked about this before, um, but this is my PlayStation 3 um, sign, and of course you can see my three beautiful fingerprints where I touched it and put it up on the wall, but that's not the point. I just wanted to show you the cool LED PlayStation 3 sign that sits majestically next to the PlayStation 3, but now... We got us a PlayStation 4 sign for the PlayStation 4. And this one's also acrylic. It's nice too. Shall we plug it in and see how it works? Awesome. Oh yeah, that looks cool. I like that. This is going to look great. Here, I'll turn the light off for you. Let me turn off the other light. Oh yeah. That looks cool. Man, this looks awesome. Yeah, this is going to look cool next to the PlayStation 4. And what I need to do is put the two PlayStations together. So I can hang the two signs together. PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Pretty cool, right? Alright back to what we were doing alright so this is today's video actually this is what it's like the whole point of everything you've seen has led up to this this thing right here this is pretty cool um, it comes in a couple of different variances uh, they make the Evolite Plus and the mini air cooler and the Arctic 
R cooler and all these other things. Um, but basically what it is, it's a thermoelectric cooler that uses water to condense um, a small element to produce a slight cooling effect over a filter and a fan. Um, and of course they add RGB to it. So I thought that maybe we could check it out, hook it up to some. I brought a, a, a mini, what do you call this? A, a temperature sensor gun. Oh, battery's low. I need to replace the battery. But anyway, I got a temperature sensor gauge gun to check this thing out and see how it works. So let's, uh, I think it opens. Let's open it. Open it. You pull that little tray out and that gives you access to this which then flips open all right and then you can see what's inside there really it's like this pull string here and then that pulls out okay so this is the filter ooh what's all that is that mold wow molds already started to develop on this no shit what an interesting thing. Well, of course it does. It has moisture in it. Of course, mold's going to develop on it. This is, I've only had this thing for about a week and I've only used it. Maybe, maybe it has 10 hours of runtime in it. And look at that. It's already developing mold. I guess if you're going to use this thing, you need to wash it and clean it out. Um, from what I understand, I don't think these filters come out. I think you just have to buy a new unit or you can just spray it down with some bleach or something but that's essentially the unit right there and then inside here you have your water and then I think that styrofoam thing whatever that is down there I think that's your actual uh, semiconductor that's actually producing the coldness and then you just have a standard um, I don't know maybe a 90 millimeter fan it's not quite 120 so I would say it's a 90 millimeter fan and then to power it all it takes a uh, which I was kind of surprised about it takes a standard oh I'm leaking whoops where's that coming out of it came out of them holes I don't think it should do that oh but you know what the filter goes there Oh, that's right. The filter goes there and it blocks the, in there and it blocks them holes up. Well, anyway. Okay, so it takes a micro USB. So anyway, I thought we would see how cold this little sucker actually gets. Um, I'm going to take this in the back and spray some bleach on it and fill it up with water. And then we're going to put new batteries in the temperature gun. And then we're going to see how cold it gets. What's the top say? 21.4 Celsius. Let's see. I can't make out the other part. It says 40 degrees, 4.0 Celsius is what it says. And man, that thing is really blowing out some air. Let's see how cold that air is real quick. All right, so what's our temperature right now? Right now we're at 65.3. And yeah, it's definitely getting cooler. Man, this thing's cool looking. I ought to put it in front of my computer and let it blow cold air into the system. At least that's what the original idea was. Now we're at 64, so we've dropped a degree in just talking. 
So I was examining this top part up here and, and it actually has a couple different settings on it. You can go into the menu here, adjust the light, adjust the time, and then it has stages. So you could actually, let's see here. Oh, well, what's it doing? So like here's stage one, stage two. Oh, getting out of focus. There we go, let me try to refocus, come on focus on this thing sucks there it goes okay so there's a number two it's kind of hard to see three four and then a five and really all it does is it makes the fan blow faster and the coldest this thing's been running for about 30 minutes now and the coldest that I can seem to get it to go down to is about 64 right there it's about 65 which, if you think about it, that's actually quite cold considering the environment that you would use this in. You know, it'd be 70, 80, maybe 90 degrees wherever you are. Let's say it's 98 degrees in the house, you know, or wherever you are and it's really warm. Um, 60 degree air that's been moisturized, blowing on you, oh yeah, that's going to feel real good. I mean, that's right there. It's, it, it's cool. That's cool to the touch and I'm in an air conditioned room. So, I, I, I recommend this thing. This is really nice. It's not bad. The, uh, the tank of water will last about 45 minutes. Um, it has a low water warning level thing, so once it runs out of water, it'll just shut down, which is a nice feature. You can pick this thing up for anywhere from $14 all the way up to $200. It just depends on the make or the model that you choose. This is actually a um, kind of like a mid-grade brand, um, but I like it. I mean, you can really feel that thing moving air. You can really feel that fan blowing air, and it's nice and cool. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Wow, that's cold too. Feel, ooh, that's real cold. The water's cold. How cold is that water? 60. 63 62 so the water is actually colder than the air being produced so that uh that thermal electric cooler plate thing must be right up underneath all that but anyway i hope you guys like this video please make sure to subscribe thanks for watching guys um that 10th gen monster build's coming we got a bunch of parts on the way uh, that's what happens when you do a custom, a full custom build, is that you end up waiting for parts. Things from China take anywhere from 20 to 40 days to arrive. Um, we got the build about 90% complete. Um, we just got to fix the RGB and add the rest of the customization parts to it. And then once it's done, we'll do a video. So I hope you guys like it. Please share this video on Facebook and everywhere else for me. Help us out. Try to get this channel to a thousand. We're almost there. We're at, we're almost to 900 subscribers, guys. We need, I need y'all's help. Push it, you know? S uh, share it to all the different groups in Facebook. Um, share it to all the different platforms and stuff. Help me out. All right, I appreciate y'all. You guys be cool. And y'all can pick this thing up on Amazon. Uh, I paid about 35 bucks for this one. So, all right, y'all be cool. Thanks for watching. So anyway, uh, these are my Bose headset. Uh, they're about 350 bucks, but I wanted to, they're Bluetooth, but I wanted to hook them um, to my computer. Unfortunately, my 3.5 millimeter jack will not fit that, like at all. So what I actually had to do was go and buy a brand new, 2.5 let's see hopefully this is what I ordered uh, let's see that's which one's which okay so that's the 3.5 and then that's the 2.5 right there it was uh ten dollars six dollars I don't know I don't really care it wasn't that much money um, but I needed it so I could um, <laughs> So I could use the headset. Really surprised uh, that it didn't accept a normal 3.5 millimeter 
audio, it accepted a 2.5 millimeter audio, which I wasn't even aware they made one until I bought these headsets. But, okay, I just wanted to show you guys that.